Hello everyone, welcome back to our Prime Coding channel. I hope you are loving this on campus placement series. So today I came up with new problem. It is very an interesting problem, which is rearrange an array in increasing or in decreasing order. The name itself stating is like suppose we take an example here. The example of this array is eight seven one six five nine. What question ask us to do is we just need to put array in such a way that the first half of the array should have an increasing sequence and second half should have a decreasing sequence so how the output will look like so the output will be look like one five six and nine eight seven as you can see guys the half of the array is in increasing order and half of the array is in decreasing order so it is very straightforward questions as i can i hope that if you are following my previous video you might have got few approach to do do this question so let me tell you the approach of this particular question so we have to approach this question as let's say let's say if I sort this array, if I sort this particular array, then what will be the output? Output will be 1, 5, 6, 9, not 9, it would be 7, 8, 9. Bingo. So we got our sorted array. This can be done using any type of inbuilt function that is supported by your uh, programming language that you are writing in. So I am in this case using Python. Python has a multiple option to sort an array. So I will use dot sort method to sort this particular array. Now what I will do is I will print. We need to print guys. See the output. We just need to print. We don't have to return a new array or something. We just need to print. What I will do. I will print the first half and after that I will print the second half. So how I can print the second half because printing first half is bit it it is a bit straightforward is it we just need to uh, iterate over the half of the index and we just need to print these element that we are encountering on now if we want to print the decreasing order of the second half we should do in the reverse order we should iterate over the array in reverse order until n by 2 elements fine now the your drawing part is over let's move our to our code editor so that your con this concept will be more clear to us now let me cut this i have an array sample array here what i will do i will sort it first how to sort i am using this inbuilt function sort it will sort my array now what i will do i will just print my array so for i n range uh, let me take one n variable which will store the len of array otherwise it will be very tedious job to write in this range column okay so i need to print till n by 2 this is a floor division guys which will give a integer value not a decimal if it is a decimal value for loop will not support that's why i use this integer floor so that the value will be in integer format now the uh, for loop will start from 0 to n by 2 and we just need to print that particular element that the pointer is pointing on and it will be space separated so all the output will remain in one line okay now i have printed the first half what about the second half second half will be printed like this for i in range uh, we need to print from the back from the reverse side so i need to iterate over the reverse which is the last index n minus 1 is the last index and till where it should be printed till the n by 2th location minus 1 because this is an exclusive and not inclusive so here i am including that particular index that this range has ignored fine what i am telling is if you are writing n by 2 it will just print till here now i need to print uh, from the second half for, for the second half i need to print this much i need to print this much so for printing this much the range should be this and, and as for loop follows an exclusive uh, range which means it will not include the last one so it will not include this one it will print till this one i hope you got 
the reason why i am using this particular range and we need a negative one so that the minus one will be done at each iteration fine so we just need to print again the array of array of i with the end as a space separated value now let's have a quick run bingo guys as you can see one two two uh, one two three is a first half which is an increasing format and another is an uh, decreasing format nine eight seven so yeah guys we have solved this let's discuss the time complexity of the particular program so the time complexity would be so the time complexity so guys we have solved this particular question let's discuss the time complexity of the this approach the time complexity would be we are just using a sorting inbuilt function so in python we use tim sort so it is order of n log n algorithm uh, and so the time complexity will be alg n log n algorithm because if you go go through the wikipedia of tim sort you will get to know why it is n log n basically from upside i would tell you it is just dividing our array and again uh, combining our rest of the array for now this much information is enough for you so big o of worst case is n log n and space complexity is a constant one because we are not including any type of space so yes guys we are done with this question if you have any doubts please feel free to put it down in the comment section i will definitely revert you back so if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel we'll meet you soon